Thank you, dear Lord, for blessing us. Lord God, we thank you for giving us another opportunity to be in the land of the living one more time. We're asking, Holy Spirit, that you would come and saturate the ground, saturate this service with your presence, with your glory, move up and down the aisles. We're asking, Holy Spirit, that you would destroy every yoke of bondage. Lord, I said you would touch those bodies that are, that are broken and healed and delivered and set their captives free today in the wonderful name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God. We're asking, the Holy Spirit, that you move and do whatever you desire to do, when you desire to do it, and how you desire to do it in this service today. And we said amen. 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 Hallelujah. The word for today is empty. Jesus. Empty. Oh yeah, there's a word as well as a message. You must understand empty. I know that's not a word that many people like to shout about, but by the time we get finished, you will understand what I'm talking about in the name of Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter 8. Put your eye on verse number 9. The word of the Lord reads as such. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that through his poverty you might become rich. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. We give thank God glory for the reading of his word. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. You must Amen. understand that right there in that passage, the Lord God is speaking to us today. The Apostle Paul wrote the Gospels of 2 Corinthians, and he was speaking to them, letting the people of God know, like I'm saying, explaining to you, that for we know that the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, Meaning, although that he had it all, he had everything. That though he was, he did what he made himself to become poor, so that we can be rich. I would like to turn that over and to say he became emptied, so you can become full. Because see, if you can see the richness as he being full, because he's rich, he's not lacking anything. But he desired, he said, well, let me be empty so that way you can be rich. So you can have it all. The Lord God says, I'd rather not take the first. He said, you know what? You can have it. Let me go empowered. Let me be. I'm going to empty of myself so that way you can be filled. I'm going somewhere with this. Hold on just a minute. Because you must understand that the message, that empty. I looked up the word emptied in the definition. I looked it up in Webster's and it says to be unoccupied. Vacant. Unoccupied and vacant. That means that, you know what, let, let me make it easy for some of you. You're probably like, wait a minute. You know what, the Lord God set down his divinity to come down here. He became emptied so that way we could become full. Because if he had came in the fullness of who he was and didn't and held his divinity, we couldn't relate to him. You know, it would be hard for us to get to, get to God if he came in all his divinity because we would first say, well, he's Jesus. And he came with all that power. He's the son of God. He said none of the Bible said that he emptied himself. He became nothing. So that way we can be able to admonish him and be able to come rich. So that's why he set down all of his divinity. You realize that he didn't just he didn't just die. He laid down his life. Come Amen. on now. Amen. He gave up the ghost. Amen. Yes, Lord. Come on now. Yes, the Lord. Holy is called the ghost. Yes, Lord. In the old time, he came up the ghost. the ghost. Nobody forced him. He said, whenever he gave, he gave up the ghost. I mean, yes, when his spirit Lord. Like, he decided to lay. He made a yes, choice. Lord. Then he said, I'm gonna give it up. So that way you can have it. The Bible yes, tells Lord. us clearly when the Lord God was speaking to his disciples, I'm preaching already. Help yes, me, Holy Lord. Lord. Now when he was talking to his disciples, he told them a nice and clear. He said, I must go so that the other may come, so that the anointing, the comforter may come. Ooh. Yes, Lord. He said, I can't stay yes, here Lord. with you. He said, I would love to stay, but I must go so oh, that he can come. Can come. Yes, Lord. Amen. Do you realize if the Holy Spirit had not come to comfort us, Jesus. that we would not have this power here on earth? Yes, Lord. Oh, come Amen. on now. Amen. Talk to Amen. He said, you know, you're like, well, where is she? He sits at the right hand of the Father. You need to know your Bible. You need to know what you're like. Well, gee, he sits at the right hand of the Father. I thank God that Jesus is sitting at the right hand of the Father. Because the Bible says he's constantly interceding on my behalf. That means when I mess up, he said, oh, no, 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 wait, wait, daddy. Preach it, Pastor. Wait, wait, because there's the blood that's over Preach it, Pastor. You see, my, you see that blood? And the only reason why that God doesn't get us like he needs to, because he respects the blood. Amen. Oh, yes, talk Lord. To the amen, amen. Because yes. there's power in the blood of Jesus. Yes, Lord. There's power in yes, the name Lord. of Jesus. So you must understand that every time my father sees the blood, he passes over. Yes, Ooh, Lord Jesus. Every time when we deserve a good spanking, Ooh. and the, the, the Jesus is interceding for, he said, Lord, mm-mm. 
He said, Father God, even though the enemy is trying to accuse him of this and that, thank God for the blood of Jesus. Amen. Father, yes, Lord. All of their sins. Thank you, I Lord. I want you to understand that today that the Lord God is making a charge for the body of Christ mm -hmm. that we need to be emptied. Thank you. And you're like, well, I, I'm, I'm going to go there. I'm going to go a little bit deeper. I want you to understand is that, you know what, we're so full of the world. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, now. yeah. Preach it, Pastor. We want to do things the way Preach the world does it. We want to do that. Everything, you know. Nobody wants to do things the way the Word of God says. And I'm just going to pray for the house. Uh -huh. I, I look, Preach I it, say, Pastor. Out to amen. But somebody say, say something. Amen. amen. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because, you know, the Lord God desires for us to be <laughs> empty. You know, we're so full that we can't really get what we need to get from Amen, God. amen. Come on now. Oh, wow. I, you know, I may tell you, I'm not going to point anybody out. That's good, I'm that's not going to point anybody out. <laughs> but, but I'm here to tell you that we need to learn to become empty. Amen. We need to learn to get back to the empty of the world and full of the word. Yeah. You know what? Because amen. we need to a, a, unoccupy ourselves with the cares of this world. Yes, Lord. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I know you got a bill, and who doesn't? Oh, amen. Wow. Preach it, amen. Preach it, Pastor. I know you have a pain. And who doesn't? You're going through something. And who, who loves the child? Who's a child of God is not going through something? Amen. amen. I love you, but baby, you're not special. <laughs> Come yeah, on now. Uh, we amen, all amen. are going through. Yes. Everybody got something that they go. Your struggle may not be my struggle, but we all have a struggle. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Like the Lord God. Amen. So we all come to the Lord with something. Yes, Lord. Yes. But the Lord God said, in order for you to get, you see, we always cry out, Lord, fill me up, God. Overflow me. Fill me. But you know, we forget the major requirement. You know, in order for you to be filled, you must be empty first. Yes. Yes, Lord. That's a key component. So the next time you start crying, Lord, fill my cup, Lord. Tell it to overflow. Ask the Lord to empty you first. Amen. Hallelujah. You need to become a base and a bow. Nothing in order for God to fill it. Because many of you know the passage. You can't put new wine in old no wine skins. Skin. Ooh, Jesus. Come on now. Amen. Now you're like, well, oh, Lord, you know, I want you to use me. Or fill me up, God. The Lord God said, I haven't seen you got emptied yet. When was the last us. time you cried uncontrollably at the altar? When? Preach, Pastor. I'm in front of people. Preach. Wait a minute. Oh. You need to get in. I'm here to tell you, you're not going to get as full as you need to get. Uh -huh. Because you're worried about the idol. Whenever you're empty, when the Lord God is empty, you can care less. Lord. About what, who, or anything else that's going on. Because you're like, Lord God, I need to be emptied of all this junk. I need to be emptied of all this depression and all this yes, loneliness Lord. and this yes, Lord. poverty and this anger. And yes, you know, Lord. I need to be empty. And the only way you're going to get to be filled is that you've got to be emptied yes, first. Yeah, In the name because of Because if you put yes, that fullness Lord. on that halfway empty, you know what's going to happen? Mm. That fullness is not going to last too long. Yes, oh, wow. Right Preach it, Pastor. Somebody that's wondering, good, well, why, brother. Why, why, why keep going through? Why? I keep going through. Maybe you weren't emptied. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this is out today. Right Maybe like, well, who am I talking? Anybody who has an ear to hear with the Spirit of the Lord God is saying. That the that shoe true. fits on you, but then wear it well. In the name of you, because you must understand God said that in order for you to be filled, you must be empty. Yes. Yes. He said, my sons and my daughters, they cry out, oh Lord God, fill my cup. Fill me, Lord God. I want to be used by you, Lord. And the Lord God said, nobody wants to be empty. Jesus. Nobody wants to go to the cross. My Nobody God. wants to go through pain or suffering. Yeah. No one wants, but surely not the glory. If I can just get that glory, the look, the glory costs you something. Amen. Oh. Amen. That Amen. Amen. You must understand that the Lord got to, you must learn to be empty before you can be filled. Amen. You've got to learn to empty yourself. That there should be no shame in that you should come to the Lord just as you are. Yes. Say, Lord God, it's me. I was the one who messed yes. up. Yes, Lord. Lord God, I made that mistake. Yes. Oh my God, help me, Holy Ghost. Yes. Why yes. people don't like correction? Oh, Jesus. How preach to it, Pastor. Name it. Preach it. No, 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 no. It's <laughs> like we don't like correction, but I want you to know the Bible uh -huh. said God chasing those that He loves. Amen. 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 Anybody that's not getting a whipping, I wonder how much you've done. Oh. <laughs> because anytime you get out of boundaries, the Lord goes, eh, eh, eh. You're not going to go too far. Wait a minute. I love that about the Lord because he keeps us in line. Yes. So, you know, you should love correction. The Bible is about, the, the Lord tells us that correction is good. I, I turn that thing around. You see, the world's way says you shouldn't do that. You're hurting their feelings. Oh, it's quiet in the house. Uh -huh. yes, I'd rather hurt their feelings <laughs> than have them locked up. Yes, yes. Lord. Yes. Lord. Yes. Preach it, Pastor. I'd rather hurt yes. their feelings and tell them no yes, before they Lord. be strung out on some type of Yes, Lord. Yes. Preach it, Pastor. I'd rather hurt their feelings and say, put that down. 
Pray the more less you stay and end up Amen. someplace that you don't want. Because you know, they got some things that are worse than a physical jail. Amen. You can be locked up spiritually Amen. and can't get out. In the name of Jesus. Call up some drugs. You know, anybody who knows anyone who's battling with a drug addiction, that's a jail and the bars are not even there. Jesus. Come on now, that's a self-made prison. They can't go anywhere. Or even though they're free. Someone incarcerated, at least they can walk around, look around. But someone who's locked up and bound by that spirit of addiction, mm. yeah, they are yeah. so entrapped they can't even move. Mm -hmm. But the Lord God said, but it could be better for them if they would have decided to be empty. You know, that's why I'm yes, saying, you know, Lord. correction is good. Yeah. Amen. Help me, Holy Ghost. Amen, God. amen. You should desire, you know what? Matter of fact, you should embrace mm -hmm. it. Yes. The Bible yes, says in the book of Proverbs yes, that Lord. those who love correction. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah are good. He called wise. Those that love correction. You know what? As children of God, you're like, all right, Lord. Correct me if I'm wrong. You should come to the Lord. Lord God, if it's me, then correct me. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We should understand that there's a reason and there's a purpose. I know that's a little sidebar to the message, but you must understand that God says in order for you to be emptied, that there's going to be some correction when it comes about when he begins to empty you. Because you're like, Lord, I did this. He said, well, then, okay, then you need to be corrected for that. Amen. You know, well, Lord, I, I, I wasn't supposed to say that. Then, I, you know, it's like some Amen. repentance. Amen. So, are y'all feeling me right Amen. about this? Amen. 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 Because, see, when you're empty, that goes right along with repentance. Lord, forgive me. Yes, Lord. I didn't mean that. Father, forgive me, Lord God. Uh, release me from that bondage, Lord God. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do That's a part of being empty. You know what? Those that are afraid to, to repent or ashamed of trying to repent, you will not ever be full. I'm here to tell amen, you. Amen. As much as you cry, Lord, fill me up. If you are not going to say, I'm sorry. Jesus. I don't care how pretty you look. Uh -huh. You will not be full. Jesus. You may get a little halfway, but you'll never be used to the full capacity Jesus. of what God has for you. Unless you decide to say, Lord, God, empty me. Lord God, I want to be free from that. Empty me. Yes, Lord. Empty me from anything. I want you to turn with me to Philippians. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you about Philippians chapter 2. Thank you, Lord God. Philippians chapter 2. It talks about the Lord Jesus right there as well. Thank you, Lord God. I love to hear the pages turning. Thank you, Lord. Philippians chapter 2. Thank you, Lord. And verse number 7. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Do you realize, thank you, Lord, when you're there, say amen. 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 And Philippians chapter 2, I want you to turn your focus on verse number 7. The word of the Lord God says, but made himself of what? No reputation. We're talking about Jesus taking the form of what? A bondservant and coming into the likeness of men. I want you to understand as I'm trying to paint a picture that the Lord Jesus Christ decided to be empty. He said he made himself of no reputation. If you're going about looking for a name, I beg to, I beg to differ that if you will ever be truly full. Because if you're looking for someone to start elevating you, you know what, that you're not really being, Amen. you're not going to get full. Amen. Because you're not empty. You've got to get rid of self first. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. You see, big eye take up a lot of room. Yes. Jesus. <laughs> big eye take up more room Amen. than you. <laughs> yes, Lord. Come on now. Amen. Big eye fill up a house. Big I might be pride. I don't do that. That's, I'm not going. Uh, yeah. Big I will allow you, will have you not to be full. But see, if you can put big I aside and empty yourself of big I, big I is pride. Uh -huh. Big I is saying, you know what? That's not what I do. That's not how I, that's not me. That's, but why don't you just put big I aside and just say, if the Spirit of the Lord is here, I know that there is liberty. Amen. So, Father yeah. God, Amen. I, I'm going to serve you, Lord God. Yes, I'm going to praise you with my In the name heart. Of I'm going to I'm going to lift up my hands. I'm going to give you go. He said, "You know what? That I can feel because he said you're saying, Lord, empty me. I, I don't know what what's going on, but you can say, Lord God, whatever's going on with me, I desire to be empty. This is my opportunity. I'm not going to miss this moment of being empty." I want to be, as the word of the Lord God said, of no reputation. I don't care if you don't remember my name. You need to remember Jesus' name. Amen. That's who you need to remember. Amen. I don't care if you don't remember anything else. But remember that when I call upon the name of Jesus, yeah, yeah, yeah. that uh, you know that everything has got to bow. Amen. This, uh, this is a, a wonderful passage. If any of you are loving to read, I love to give homework assignment. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 11. Oh, that's going to bless your heart if you read all of it. You know that passage that we call, let this mind be in, in you, which was in what? Christ Jesus. That's in verse number five. 
And surely what I just said in verse number 11, and that every tongue that should confess that Jesus Christ yes, is Lord. Lord. Mm -hmm. To the glory of God. Yes, Lord. That's some good script. That's some good meat for you to have. Yes. You yes, must Lord. understand that if you're reading that, the Lord God's saying that you're learning to be empty. You're learning to confess that this mind that I have, I, I want it to be in Christ. That means I don't want to think my own thoughts. I don't want to go around and start thinking certain things and operating in the yes, flesh. Lord. You know what the Bible tells me in the book of Romans? You must get out of the flesh in, in order the to walk in the Jesus. spirit. Yes, There's Lord. a walk in the spirit. It's called being empty. Thank you, Lord God. Because in Romans chapter 8, it talks about to be carnally minded is death. Amen. Come Amen. On, in Romans 8 and 2, it says that you must understand flesh. that you must walk in the spirit mm -hmm. and not in the flesh. Yes. To walk in the spirit, that means you're being emptied. That means you're being emptied. That means you're not carnal. That means you're not thinking of your own self as far as selfishly. Pride is gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arrogance is gone. Bitterness is gone. Amen. Jealousy is yes, gone. Yes, Lord. Covetousness is Amen. gone. Amen. Hey, come on, all those selfish things. Gossip is gone. Amen. Oh, yeah, and that's one too. Amen. Lying Amen. is gone. Jesus. And you're like, well, I yes, don't Lord. lie. Oh, look, anything that's not full truth is called a what? Lie. A lie. Uh -huh. Amen. I don't care Amen. how pretty it looks. Amen. If it's not the whole truth and nothing but the truth, it's called what? A, a lie. lie. And the Lord God says, in order to be full, you must learn to be empty you've got to say lord god i have no reputation i could care less about what's what you know what someone may think about me i don't know who i'm preaching to today but i believe there's some individuals who have come in this house and said you know lord god i need for you to empty, empty me, me. Yes, i need for you to empty me so i can be really before yes lord. because i'm tired of running yes, on lord. half a tank yes lord I'm, I'm tired of running on Jesus. half a tank and, yes. you know i'm just barely making you know every time i'm barely making i don't want you know i'm tired of the barely amen making. yes lord Amen. I want to be, I don't want just to barely make it. I want to make it what? Over. over. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to be over yes, the thing. Lord. I want to I be able to decree and declare some yes, things Lord. and it will be established. Amen. I want to say Preach the number one is it. Hey, yes, I want to say the kill up. Yes, kill Lord. Up, kill up, because it is my morning. I don't Amen. want to just say, well, it's the morning come. No, no, no. My morning is yes, here. Yes, Amen. Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. But you must understand, in order for that to take place, you've got to be empty first. Yes. You've got to say, Lord God, that I would decrease so that you would what? Increase. increase. You see, you got to learn how to go up in order yes, to get, Lord. you know, to go down to yes, get up. Come on now. We understand the concept. Yes, Lord. In order for you to get higher, you've got to go, go lower. Down. Yes, Lord. Yes. In the name I'm of I'm a Jesus. Jewelry one. Yes, Lord. In order yes. for you to go higher, you've got to learn to go lower. Yes. You've got to learn how to be empty. You got to learn to say, you know, I don't, you know, because shame will keep you from getting a Jesus. blessing. Jesus. Shame will stop you from preach it, Pastor. Uh huh. Yeah, preach well. it. You mean tell me to go know all my business? Mm -hmm. Shame will stop you. So, Lord, God, I'm trying to fill you today. Amen. Amen. I want to fill you up to the overflow. I yes, want to make Lord. sure that every area of your, every capacity of your fiber of your being is going to be full and overflowing. Yes, Lord. But He said, first, you got to be empty. empty. First, you got to come and pour out so he can pour. Yes, Lord. Amen, amen. You, amen. you got to be able to say, Lord God, pour me out like a drink offering. Yes, Lord. Everything, Lord God. That's yes, Philippians 2.17. Lord. Yes. Lord God, pour me out like a drink offering. Lord God, that has nothing left. You know, when they see, you know what? Whenever you leave a glory, thank you, Lord. That's exactly how you should feel. Whenever you come to the Lord, you said, Lord God, I want to be so emptied so that way you can fill me. You know, and I want to be so, you know, take everything that's not like you. Yes. Lord God, uproot it. Pull it out from the name. Lord God, uproot it. Lord God, I don't want just the surface to be clean. Lord God, uproot that demon. Whatever's going on, if that, that's a root of bitterness in me, then Lord God, tear down that root. Uproot it for me, Lord God. I don't want that because surely enough, anything that has a root will do what? Even though you cut it, it's going to do what? Grow back. If you don't kill the root, it's going to come up and bear some what? Fruit. Some fruit. you got to learn how to kill the root of things. You've got to learn how to be empty. I'm, on my, I'm moving right along. The Lord God says, whenever you're going to be emptied of the things of this world, you got to be ready to get rid of some idols. Oh, nobody know. Get rid of some idols in the name of Jesus. Whenever you want to be empty, that means you're going to have to get rid of some idols. You're going to have to get rid of some things that you might hold dear. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we call them idols. You're like, oh, wait a minute. Well, if they hold dear to me, how they can be an idol? Anything, let me describe an idol. An idol is more than just, you know what, a little figurine. An idol can be a vehicle. 
yeah. can be that Amen. house, Amen. that yard. Yes. Uh huh. Well, I've got to do this before I wait a minute. Jesus. Wait a minute. You Preach forget. It, I'm the one gave you that uh -huh. house, Preach and yard, the, the dog, the cat, <laughs> the, <laughs> the job. Oh, I know I'm stepping on some toes, but I'll out today. Come on, now we've got to, in order to be empty, you've got to be able to, Lord God, then relieve me of that. You know what? Instead of me putting that first, I want to put you back on the throne. The Bible says in Matthew 6, 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto thee. The Lord, I told you that God's in adding and multiplying. Thank you, Lord God. He believes in adding to your number. He believes in multiplying the things of God. But surely not, you've got to remove the idols. Yes. You know, whenever you're empty, that means, Lord God, you can remove the idols. Amen, amen. I'm just going to go a little bit deeper. Tell your neighbor, be empty. Be empty. Be empty. Touch your neighbor on the other be side. Empty. Be empty. Be empty. Be empty. Be empty. Oh, we're getting it up. Be empty. Be empty. We stand up on the word where two or three come together. There he is. We want to touch and agree. Now see, if you don't want to be empty, you know you won't ever be full. Jesus. Hallelujah. If those individuals that you want to be full, that means you must want to be empty. You want those idols to be removed. Surely, if you want God to be put back on the throne of your heart, you want those things to be removed in the name of Jesus. You must understand that God says you've got to empty yourself of idols. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, as I said, I'm going to define empty of uh, idols. Idols are not just figurines. Sometimes they can be people. Oh, yeah. You're like, well, not on the job again. No, I'm not going to go on a job. Mm -mm. You're not going to go with the dog or the cat or the mouse or none of that. How about that individual, that person? You're like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, God loves family. Don't get me wrong. God created the first family. He loves the family. But you must understand everything has an order. Thank you, Lord God. He said, you know what? Whenever you have your time with the Lord, you make your time with the Lord. Because if you have time in with Him, sure, He'll be able to feel you. You'll be a better wife, a better mother, sister, daughter. Same thing with the man of God. If you have time with Him, you'll be a better husband. See, your wife and the Lord, I wish He would do that. You know what? If you let Him get some time with the Lord, that, you know, let Him get a little time. No interrupt. No, what you do? No. Let him get that little bit of time with the Lord. Let him get that. He will be so much better. But you understand that that means God becomes ahead. Yeah. Hallelujah. That means you're removing. Oh, yeah, I'm going there with the cheering. Amen. Amen. Oh. Yes, like, Lord. Oh, yeah, Lord. Yeah, we love them. Appreciate yes. pastors. Yes. You know what? When you dedicate your children unto the Lord, we yes. gave them to God. Yeah, to, amen. They're amen. here before yes. the hours. Amen. If you must understand, amen. you keep trying, well, that's mine. You know what? You're just a steward over the babies. Yes. And like I said, you're just a steward for a season. Yes. Because surely they're going to grow. And what are they going to do? Leave. Leave. Oh, as much Preach as you try to hold on to them, them yes. lasso them, them, them babies going to leave. Yes. Oh, yes. I told you, just a steward over them. Amen. So while you have stewardship over them, you must understand that's all that you are. So whenever you're a steward, you don't make them your idol. Mm -hmm. You don't make them your idol. Amen. Oh, yeah, Amen. Yeah. I learned that lesson real quick. I give Amen. you a personal testimony yes, right Lord. there. Amen. I give you a personal testimony Amen. as putting individuals, and I'll say my kids as an idol. Before when I was, uh, my child, my youngest, was a baby. And my daughter was just maybe about four years old, and she was in the car. And I was, I was like, Lord, I just had my children. Glory to God. Mm, I'm giving God glory. And I know I should have been in the house of the Lord. But I was like, oh, Lord, come on, you let me enjoy the, me being a mother. I'm going to go bake a lemon cake. I remember that. A lemon cake. Not just any kind of cake. A lemon cake. I wanted to go bake a lemon cake. I wanted to go home. And surely the, the Lord God kept tugging on me. And that's not the first time, but I was in a car, and the Lord God kept tugging on me. Kept telling me you need to go, go, go to the house, go, you know, go to the Lord, go to church, make just make your way. You know, like, and I was just growing in the Lord. Amen. You know, hear me. Amen. 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 And I was saying, you know what? Yes. Because of God loves family, love my children. He Amen. Amen. Oh, Amen. I'm glory. They're his babies. And I, mm -hmm. the Lord God kept saying you need to be in house. I kept using everything. I made them yes. idols. We're gonna bake lemon cake, mm -hmm. we're gonna go to McDonald's, everything. Never made it to the house of the Lord. That day, I was on my way. I was rear-ended with a vehicle going 80 miles an hour Jeez. in a residential area. Ooh. Hit my car. I saw it in the rear. I went airborne, me and the children, airborne. Hit Mr. Concrete Basin. And by that time, I guess I got the message. Okay? Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, wait a minute. But I said, God still protected me. But yes. see, he protected But I, guess where I was after that? I was at church though. I was limping. I, I tell you what, I had a brace on my knee. 
I was injured, but I tell you, my back was home. Where was our front row of service? Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh, some of y'all, you're like, Amen. you're making it true. I'm trying Amen. to make it oh, yeah. serious. Amen. You see, you're thinking you got my attention. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I realized that that wasn't my idol. Because at that moment, it was a split second. We were just laughing and talking. And my we were airborne. My vehicle was total. And the Lord God said, you know what he said? I desired for you to be in the house. You're like, did God call? He didn't cause it, but he allowed it. Yes. You yes. know, most people, God didn't call. God didn't call, but he allowed. He allowed. God allows certain things to happen. Yes. To Amen. Get our Amen. attention. Amen. Amen. I know that's pass. tight, but it's right. You may not like it, but God said, and there's some things he said, you know what? I'm allowing to happen to you. And you're like, wait a minute, God. Wait. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm allowing. He said, did I cause it? No. But he right. said in Romans 8, 20, all things work, work together, together for, for the good, good, for those who are called according to his purpose. The Lord God said, because I love you, we're going to work this accident out. Yes. Yes, I'm going to tell you, you know how I, I, well, I worked it out? I was able to walk away. Yes. I was able to walk away. And then he showed me that I was I even spared a hole because the car in front of me, that vehicle was going so fast, the whole front end of the truck fell off. Mm -hmm. Fell off. And uh, you know what, when I ran up on him, you know, I was saved, thank God. Because when I ran, I was like, what were you thinking? And he was like, I was messing with my radio. I said to him, I mean, that, that's all, I mean, at this certain moment, he did this at 80, and rear end of your realm, and the Lord God, he said, but see, I used you in your capacity. Mm -hmm. I used you even Amen. when Amen. you were outside. Somebody better yes. hear that. God yes. will use you even though you're outside yes. the will of God. Yes, he will still use you anyway, Amen. because there was a group of cars, or, or, or there was a car in front of me, four teenagers. They all, those people that had gotten, one person had the license, and the other ones got in because they were getting a ride. And that day they decided to ride with that particular person, and none of them had their seatbelts on. Oh. Do you realize, had not my car been the buffer for them, they would have been told, their lives would have been lost. Because my car, even though they hit mine, I went this way, and it still bumped the car in front. They still got rear end damage. Can you imagine? Had they gotten the full impact Jesus. of that blow, they all would have loved it. There would have been more than that been crying that day. A family were a group Jesus. of teenagers, four of them, all just were getting a ride from school. Oh Two of them didn't gosh. even ask their mama to ride. They just was getting oh a ride. Oh, my God. And I tell you, the Lord God will hit you. But see, surely enough, the Lord God said, whenever I was putting them as an idol, one just said, I put my family at the time as an idol. And the Lord God taught me. And that was a lesson, yes. I don't know about you, but it was a hard lesson, but I should have learned. Amen. So you're like, well, so you come to church? Yeah, I come uh -huh. sick. I do oh, whatever yeah. the Lord would. If he tells Amen. me to stay home, I stay. Mm -hmm. But if he said you need to be... I was there. I didn't miss a beat. I want you to know the Lord God miraculously healed me because the yes, doctor said Lord. that your knee, you would need arthroscopic surgery. I want you to know this same knee. I praise God. I dance. I run around. No break. And the Lord God said, he said, if you continue to serve me, Oh and I, I'm going to tell you, I was faithful. Yes, Lord. I remember that. I would not tell you a healing anointing. Yes, Lord. I'm about to tell you, yes, you, know, you got to be empty so God yes, can fill Lord. you. you got to be empty in order for God to, to yes. fill you up completely. Yes, I got Lord. completely empty. I said, Lord, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Lord, God, forgive me. I started throwing things away. I started. I didn't care what anybody said. I was at that altar crying more snot than anybody. But I was getting empty. Lord, I'm sorry. I, I did this. I, if I said something wrong, I'm sorry. They're like, my, you know, they would look at me in the, in the church. They were like, my God, that's she ever stop? <laughs> <laughs> they were probably, I mean, they're probably like, oh my God, she there again? But I was getting empty. Amen, amen. Yeah. And when yes, I got Lord. empty, I thank God for me being yes, empty. Yes, Lord. Because if yes, I wouldn't be Lord. empty, I wouldn't be, be right here. here. Yes, Lord. Because I got empty yes. enough to say, you know, there's no shame. That's why when yes. I tell someone, whenever you, yes. I don't care yes. who looks, who, who doesn't look, I'm That's not right. too concerned. Amen. About, because amen. I'm going to be empty. Because yes, I know in order for me to be filled, is to be empty. empty. Yeah. Now, I'm about to close, but I want you to understand many individuals believe yeah. that, you know, when you get saved, that you're, that you're filled. Yeah. And this is true. Mm. This is true, but I'm not going to argue with theologians. Okay. That you are filled initially when you get saved. You are saved. Whenever, you're, whenever you come up, if you're not saved, then you don't know what I'm talking about, and you should know today. That whenever you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, the, infill, the Holy Spirit fills you. Mm -hmm. 
But in case you didn't even realize, even with that, you had to be empty. Yes, Lord. You had to be sick of yourself. Yes, Lord. In order to come Jesus. To as much as you think yeah. you got up, Jesus. you were sick of your life. You were sick of, Jesus. I don't know about you, but I didn't come jumping. Ah. They can't, they, they, look, that's, my yes. circumstances brought me to God. Amen. Yes, yes, Lord. I got some help yes, over you. Yes, Lord. I didn't come, Lord, I want to be saved. No, yes, I was going through hell. Yes. And I was living a hell life. And the Lord got to look out. I got, I was like, I ain't got no one else turned. I might as well go to Jesus. Because nobody else ain't going to help me. Amen. I ain't got no money, ain't got no friends, uh, nobody trying to get supply my need. So I, that's how I came to the Lord. Amen. It may not be your testimony, Amen. but I'm here to tell you, you have to be emptied in order.